patient shows up in the emergency room with any kind of symptoms, the way that that person should be treated is that the, the health care providers put on personal protective equipment to examine that patient because they don't know, does this person have COVID-19, have this coronavirus or not? You kind of have to assume that they do. At the same time, what are we hearing? We're hearing that according to some of the early data in China, four out of five people who were subsequently diagnosed with coronavirus acquired that infection from someone who didn't know they had it. Okay, let me just repeat that. Four out of five people who got a positive coronavirus infection acquired it from someone who didn't know they had it. So, so we, we don't know. You have to assume anyone possibly has it. That's, that's why we're social distancing in our lives. In the hospital, you don't have that option. You mm -hmm. gotta take care of a patient. Dr. Long, while we have you here, just tell us what it has been like for you the last few days. What have you seen in terms of the number of patients and the age range of the patients you're treating? You know, John, I'm glad you're asking this because we are seeing, yes, of course, we're seeing people who are older having respiratory problems, but we're seeing a lot of people in their 30s and 40s and younger who are coming in, their oxygen levels are a little bit low, their heart rates are up, they're sick, and some of them are being admitted, and across the country seeing people in their 40s on ventilators for prolonged periods of time. That's unheard of. We don't normally see that.